$100. Testing, $200. So this video is Get Out of Debt. It's called 3-in-1. It's uh, working on your credit score, paying down your debts, and saving money. So uh, I was looking at the end of the month for June. A couple of things. Um, I did buy a CD. And uh, my credit score went up. Um, I've got a savings plan, an auto savings plan set up. And I'm organizing a way to pay off my uh, last three debts. And uh, I communicated with the, a lender. We got the vacay that I've been talking about so much. Uh, $60. The last count was one seventy, and it's sixty dollars, and it's just going to be going out to a fancy restaurant, dressing up. We're going during the lunch hour. It's a, a restaurant where they hire student chefs, but it's a real fancy restaurant. And uh, going during the lunch hour because I'm doing intermittent fasting, and plus the lunch hour uh, menus are cheaper, so. And, and I did order some pots, and then I went back and ordered some pans. And then I get some uh, airline points. Wow. So now coming up in July, uh, my um, rental is coming. The cost of that is coming down like $6. 6 or $7. And then like my, um, the extra money from my income uh, say for instance, it's um, there's some extra cash like fifty to fifty nine dollars. Well, that is going to be put towards savings, and then I'll just budget up to everything except for that those last few dollars um, uh, and round it off. So uh, um, I'm thinking about getting two new secured credit cards. And, but, of course, I wouldn't spend over 30% under any circumstances. You don't go over that 30%. So you divide whatever the uh, the credit limit is by three. Do not go over that limit. Now, um, you're only supposed to get two a year. It, in any year, you're only supposed to get two additional cards. Now, uh, my groceries, it's not that much I spend on groceries. Now, I found out I, nine times out of ten, I will have to pay taxes next year. So, I have to keep that in mind. So, it's early enough to get back and do some um, budgeting. So, I'll be prepared. So, I'm working on my savings, working on my debts, the last three, and my credit score. So, I call that three and one. And then I have some other savings plans. And uh, I have a couple of books I want to try to uh, ebook those out. Maybe I could sell those. And um, that's about it. I had to tweak the budget one more time. This is July, I mean, June 30th. I had to tweak it some more for the last couple of days since my last video. I had to tweak it because. I want to make sure it's right by 12.01 July the 1st. So I'm really excited. 12.01 tonight, I'll start my July budget. I'm very excited. And then I don't want to make any changes. So I have to really tweak it, really tweak it, really tweak it, and tweak it some more. Uh, first, I said I was going to spend no more than the 30%. Well, last June, I said debit cards. And then for July, I'm saying credit cards up to the uh, 30%. Then I went to July, credit cards, 10%. Buy a bag of M&Ms and that's it. And then I went back up to the 30% or just below the 30%. It's going to be about 26%. But that's going to go toward household items. And also... Well, it's not going to be household items. It's just going to be that uh, the credit card just below the 30%, about 26% of 
to go on the debt snowballs, on the three debts. Something I came up with is called the three in one. I'll be working with my credit score. I'll be working with my debts. And I will be saving. So you have to see how that goes. That's the final tweak. And then, like, when something I got to be prepared. So that's why I want to order the two additional secured credit cards. And I would, would never go over the 30%. And in case of emergency or something, I could use those. So uh, we'll see how that goes because usually credit doesn't work out. I've tried it all these years and it hasn't worked out. But for some reason, I'm thinking if I go up to like 25%, 26% of my uh, credit limit, I could use that money to pay the three debts, but no charging on the credit cards at all, cannot be charged. And, uh, you know, I don't go for it. I usually don't go for the perks anyway on different credit cards because I, I, it seemed like whenever I signed up for the perks, then that's when I ran into trouble. So I had a policy for years and years not to sign up for anything but what I originally signed up for. And stay away from the perks. And that has worked and worked and worked. But now I'm thinking maybe I can use one contact. And when I buy from them, use those for some points. So we'll see how it goes. Some um, travel points. So we'll see how it goes. So I got my three debts. I've got my savings. Thank goodness. And my credit score, it actually went up about 80 points. So now, that's what I call the three-in-one. What I'm doing is going to help my credit, my debts, and saving. So you can't beat that. And then once I leave out of this apartment, maybe I'll be moving into a home from here. So we'll see. Everything takes time. You have to be patient. You have to stick with it. Um, and family is important, and sometimes family does need a couple of dollars here and there. And what I said was, uh, I'm going to have money available in case somebody do need to borrow a few dollars from me. It's not going to be a problem. But, um, you know, you have to control your spending. And you have to decide what your dreams are. And what I want, you know, it doesn't matter what so-and-so, so-and-so wants uh, or whatever. It's what I want. And as long as I'm doing that, I'm happy. So I just wanted to uh, do the end of the month, June, how things are working out, what I plan to accomplish in July. And uh, 12.01 tonight, the July budget starts. So you have a great day. You can like, subscribe, or comment. Uh, and run and get those bills paid. God bless you.